Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ramla Qureshi and I'm the founder of Women Engineers Pakistan. First up, I apologize for not being there with you physically, but I'm going to try my best to be as articulate as possible through this video. And should you have any comments or concerns or suggestions, please feel free to write me on this email. Um, so let's start up. The Women Engineers Pakistan is a small non-profit organization that's completely student-run at this point in time and our prime motive is to try and alleviate the gender gap that is present in science and technology fields. What this basically means is that we want to have a balance in representation within Pakistani scientists and technologists because we believe that we have very talented women and we're not really utilizing all that talent. The Women Engineers Pakistan started off as being just a Facebook page. It was something very whimsical that I did. I had recently graduated um, being just one of the 10 girls in my batch of 150 plus people. And it was, you know, a bit difficult being singled out that way. So I decided, okay, let's have a platform and we can probably share some cool videos over there. I had no intention of having this as an organization. Um, but eventually I realized that I had hit a niche. I was doing something that not many people in Pakistan were doing. And with just a rupees 2000 worth website, I was, you know, ranking first in a Google search for female engineers in Pakistan or Pakistani female scientists. And I decided, okay, let's capitalize on that. And once I started recruiting people, um, it just hit off because the idea was and, and the motivation behind it was not just mine it was shared by probably every female present in the field and we decided okay let's build Pakistan um, let's bring ourselves uh, towards the actual issue we all know that Pakistan is a very populous country um, and almost half of us are, are, are girls or females. This means that we have a huge chunk of population that is not really utilizing its complete strength towards the progress of the country. Uh, let me assure you, I have seen some very phenomenal Pakistani women when they, when they set their minds onto something, they can get things done. And with this belief, I am trying to, I and, you know, my organization, we're trying to motivate as many women as possible to, to tap into their, their great resource that God has given them, which is their talent and their mind and their intelligence. Uh, however, there are a lot of embedded issues that arise when, you, when you're trying to navigate through this process you realize that there are so many socio-cultural norms that are present in there. Uh, there are not as many job options available as well. For example, uh, for a majority of Pakistani people, agriculture is a prime source of income. And for women, job options remain confined to being domestic or agricultural, mostly. So, so what do we do? How do we solve these problems? Well, we step up, we try to think of solutions, and that's exactly what we're trying to do at the WEP. Uh, we work on a three-tiered process. The bottom tier is for high school students. Now, these are mostly students in underprivileged areas, and we target mostly all girls' high schools. The second tier, the middle tier, is for students who are pursuing a degree in either engineering or some sort of technology. And the third and final tier is the working women or the women who are in the field right now. Um, how we try to, to make this work is that we involve everybody in a cyclic process. Uh, we, get the, we get campus ambassadors from, from our engineering institutes and these campus ambassadors uh, go to the high schools and try to encourage girls towards engineering and math and physics. We don't at that point in time confine them to just engineering uh, because at that point in time, we want to open their minds, not put a mold on them and just confine them to, okay, no, you only have to be engineers. Now, the middle tier, the campus ambassadors are our most important asset. These are the face of WEP and we want to invest as much as possible towards their grooming, which is why we get uh, 
professionals and instructors from the field which is the third year to come to to engineering institutions and technological institutions in multiple cities and conduct workshops and seminars give career counseling conduct mock interviews cv screens a whole lot of things that helps our prospective engineers and technologists groom themselves for what's coming for them now the final tier the working women um at this point in time we have a lot of projects in the pipeline for them um, however there is still a whole need of advocacy for maternity leave for workplace harassment for an adequate gender balance in engineering firms um, a lot of things that need legislature and proper rules and regulations um, which is why this is a little slow process because of all the red tape involved however we are undeterred and we're going to try our best to proceed as much as possible we at the women engineers pakistan believe that if you can dream big then you can definitely achieve big as well and that's exactly what we're trying to propagate please write back to us we would love to hear from you your ideas and suggestions are very valuable to us thank you so much for your time have a nice day bye bye